What's going on YouTube and welcome back to another video. So guys today I'm going to show you guys how you can get the remote control unit and also the lock on jammer for the new vehicles of the contract DLC and I'm also going to show you guys how you can actually use the remote control unit. So first of all really quick if you want to install the remote control unit and the lock on jammer you will need a workshop in the agency. So on Dynasty 8 executive you need a agency and also you need the vehicle workshop upgrade for it. Then when you have it, go to your garage, get in one of your vehicles and press right on D-pad. Then you can basically modify your vehicle. So then in the options, go to Imani Tech. In Imani Tech, you will have two options. You have the lock on jammer and also the remote control unit. The remote control unit, it basically means that you can control your vehicle without being in it, just like the RC Bandito. And the missile lock on jammer, it speaks for itself. People cannot lock onto your vehicle. So a oppressor Mark II cannot lock onto your vehicle. Then if you want to use the control unit, you have to be outside, outside of your vehicle, go to the interaction menu, go to inventory, and then in inventory, scroll down to the place where it says remote control vehicles. This is also the same place where you control the RC Bandito and the RC Tank, and now there's also an option RC personal vehicle. So then you'll basically switch to your vehicle. Right now there's no driver, you can only drive in first person. If you have machine guns, you can use your machine guns. You can also drop mines if you have them. So the slime or the slick mines, I think they're called. And also if you hold square on PlayStation, you can explode your car. But keep in mind, if you explode your car, then basically you have to call Morse Mutual and you have to pay 20k to get it back. So I don't really recommend that you do this too often. Hold triangle on PlayStation if you want to exit. And then you can see on the map that your car is actually where you left it, but your character isn't there. So you can only drive in first person, but it's like a self-driving car. Now then, one more important thing, guys. The Imani Tech, you can only install it on some of the new vehicles from the contract DLC. So, for example, for the Champion, it says over here in the description on Legendary Motorsports, install exclusive modifications at the Agency Vehicle Workshop. So for the Champion, it is available. But for example, for the Ignis, I also have this car. I tried it out. It doesn't say anything about uh, the Imani tech or about the modifications. So for the Ignis, it's not available. So only for the cars where it says in the description on Legendary Motorsports or on Southern San Andreas that you can modify it in the workshop, only for those vehicles you can get the Imani tech. So guys, I hope it was helpful. Make sure to like, subscribe, check out my Discord in the description and peace out you guys.